my career. My career, I started to uh, train as a solicitor, as a solicitor in a commercial property, in commercial property. So when I opened my company under my name, every competitor was coming that you know how tough it is to work in commercial property and you have just a small office and you are on your own and you know it's very tough because you are going to deal with only men and men like to deal with men and so on and i said look i'm going to try there were no women in the commercial property property at all i was the first one to sell the tower of offices in La Défense. La Défense in Paris, it's the uh, commercial business center. And I was the first one as a woman to sell the first tower of offices. And I was very proud because I beat them all. While they were all big company, I was working on my own. And um, that was a good, a good thing. They came uh, and they say uh, five years for me, 20 years for him. When they entered the house, they know wh what uh, will be. And they sent us to, to the women's prison. We share the rooms uh, they give us and uh, we couldn't sleep because there is something bite and no bed, it is uh, on uh, wood, on wood and very bad blanket with bite. We couldn't bear it so we had hunger strike for 20 days. Yes. And we slept on the floor because we didn't want to, to sleep on this bed. In the early morning, they told us they killed her. They killed a lot of people and then we went out we opened we see the, the the people they are very very panicking everybody takes things and drowning and uh, people beating each other and some people they killed them and it was very very bad and i have got a one servant from the house and if they know him they will kill him because the the the, the north against the south it was the biafra uh, war i put him i put i we opened the ceiling and we put him for three days we give him some food and we put him and after everything settled we bought him a bicycle it was for him all the time and we told him take it and go to your place. If they know, they will kill us as well. His name is Philip. I don't remember. I, I never rem uh, uh, forget him. And you had bombs in the street, you had bombs in the uh, uh, dancing halls, you had bombs in the cinema, you had bombs in the milk bar, and you were sitting here. So you don't, you didn't know where the bombs came from. One event, the one I was referring to, is my niece was at the time one year old. She was born in 60. So she was one year old and there was a plastic, uh, in a bomb in a nearby shop. and. Uh, being six, 15 or 16, I actually covered her with my body. 
And when we finally saw what had happened, I was covered in, uh, in glass. You were? I was, but the baby was safe. The baby was safe. And uh, no, we were sort of singing and happy and dancing even on the top because we're on the top deck. And really sort of absolutely thrilled. I, I, I can honestly say I didn't have a moment's fear. And on the night before we were supposed to make our dash, the um, the boats in English were making declarations, you know, turn back. And then they boarded and they killed the man at the wheel. They were all American volunteers, the, star, the crew. Anyway, they killed a few people. We were on the top deck. All we had, we had no ammunition, we had just tins of food. And we, we were sort of throwing it at the boarding party. But it didn't make much difference. And then they used gas. And when they used gas, we were done. You know, it's sort of people seeing the house, elderly housewife can have no idea of, of um, the impact.